went to Afghanistan first because uh, it is the central front, uh, front in the war against terrorism. That is where the 9-11 attacks were planned. And today in Afghanistan and the border region of Pakistan, Al-Qaeda and the Taliban are mounting a growing offensive against the security of the Afghan people and increasingly the Pakistani people while plotting new attacks against the United States. <coughs> the situation in Afghanistan is perilous and urgent. In Iraq, we reviewed the gains that have been made in lowering the levels of violence thanks to the outstanding efforts of our military, the increased capabilities of the Iraq security forces, the Sadr ceasefire, uh, and the decision by Sunni tribes to take the fight to al-Qaeda. We also noted that the political reconciliation and economic development that's necessary for long-term stability in Iraq continues to lag. Uh, there is security progress. Uh, now we need a political solution. The message we heard from Iraq's leaders is that they're ready to do more, uh, and they want to take more responsibility for their country. Uh, I believe that the best way to support Iraqi sovereignty and encourage the Iraqis to stand up is through the responsible redeployment of our combat brigades. Uh, I welcome uh, the growing consensus in the United States and Iraq for a timeline. My view, based on the advice of military experts, is that we can redeploy safely in 16 months so that our combat brigades are out of Iraq in 2010.